Hey guys, what's going on? So, back uh, back from vacation. Uh, unfortunately, like I said in that other little video, um, ended up getting sick. Still kind of recovering from whatever bug it was. It was mostly like a cold or flu type thing. But, uh, you know, just been getting a lot of rest and making sure to stay nice and hydrated. But, um, but yeah, so, anyways, uh, this video, probably gonna break this up into a few, a few different videos. I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling transmission out of this thing. Uh, I think tonight, since I'm still feeling pretty cruddy, um, I'm just gonna work on doing the small stuff, you know, getting the battery out, battery tray, um, some of the intercooling, intercooler piping, um, Maybe get up under the car, get some of the linkage and stuff taken out, but I don't know. Like, <coughs> like I said, this is, um, I'm going to take it kind of easy, so. All right, so one of the first things I do uh, when getting this transmission out so obviously you're getting some stuff out of the way so battery usually first thing I take out well it's not usually it's always the first thing I take out One, step two. What do I do with it? There you go. Let's get the battery tray out. Battery tray is held in with a couple of 10 mils. Best way to treat a cold. All right. So I got battery disconnected. Next thing, I'm gonna go ahead and get this intercooler piping off. Normally I just use power tools, but it's like 10 o'clock at night, and I don't want to be an asshole to my neighbors. Not that they care or not, but, I mean, I'm sure they care, but, they'd care if I was being an asshole, but they probably don't care that I'm not being an asshole, if that makes any sense. Pull this completely off. Sit over there. 
you see most of this is available. Forgot about my turbo lines. My water cooling lines for the turbo. off to just to get it out of the way. Alright, so it's day two. Anyways, day two, uh, getting the trans out. Got a light on. It's about eight o'clock at night, so I'm gonna try and do all the noisy stuff now, so that I can be done. I don't like being a total dick to my neighbors. looking for. Gotta have my lug wrench. Drain oil. Drain out of there. I can need more eggs all out. I do this there's a couple of ways you can do this to get the axles out of here all right so yeah, there's a couple of ways you can go about this um, yeah, you can disconnect all this stuff or disconnect from here um, I find the easiest thing to do for me anyways is to undo the sway bar link 
and then undo uh, this lower ball joint link here. You can see that. And then I can just uh, lift the spindle. Or yeah, I can just lift the uh, <sighs> tired. Lift the assembly up off the the nub there, and I can just pull everything out and. Whew, still winded. Actually, go ahead and put this drain back into the transmission. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I have the lower ball joint. I believe that's a. I'll say it's a 14. Zip that off. A little hammer. A little hammer, not a big hammer. side. Right. Now, grab myself a pry bar. Should be able to just get in there. There we go. Same thing on this side. There we go. So that's out. Let's move that out of the way. I can get the axle. Same thing on this side. There we go. Now on this axle, there's three bolts that hold the stub axle to the uh, to the engine. You can see on this guy, there's a bracket just like that that bolts to the back of the engine block. So we got a undo those. I believe they're 15 millimeters. And we can get that side out. I'm going to fight with the 
driver's side first. But here's what I do for these axles to go out. If you, can, if you have space, you get a pry bar on one side, and a pry bar on the other side, and you just kind of, you know, shimmy it. And the axle should just pop out fairly easily. You don't have to spend a crazy amount of time. Whoops. Crazy amount of time messing with it. So hopefully you can see. Take this off. Hopefully. Hopefully that's aimed about right. All about figuring out how to get your hands in the right spot. I don't think this one's too. There we go. Just getting the damn pry bars in the right spot. Let's leave that there for now. So here's that one out. Yeah, you won't be able to see this because I'm just going to go in blind. But you can pretty much feel where the axle is. You can feel where the bracket is and then you can find the bolts. Assuming I have the right size. I think I don't. Those are definitely 14s. Here. Yep, definitely 14s. An air ratchet would probably make this the easiest thing, but you know, trying to not be too noisy. see the, the axle there possibly that bracket is undone it should just uh, come right out nice push it through there we go so here's that Do the downpipe. 13 mil. I'm not going to completely undo it, just going to loosen it up. I 
We'll completely undo it from down here, though. Oof. Fuck. Now, the reason why I have to undo the downpipe is I can't get this link. I can't get this linkage off of the shaft without moving this. It also makes it a lot easier to get to these guys. So. Get you undone. Now that's done. But since I'm up here, go ahead and undo the speedometer cable. That's undone. So, I remove the starter. It's probably the next thing. I'm gonna take a break though. All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the starter out. Should be a 15 mil, oh, 14 mil. With 14. It's a 14. It looks like a 14. One bolt there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. Alright, um, typically you'd want to remove the primary wire that goes to the starter solenoid. I leave it connected because the way I have my setup wired, I can basically pull the starter out by <coughs> that's a tiny little one. Pull the starter with the cable, one piece. Starter wire or primary cable that goes onto the starter also comes in handy as a handle. All right. 
starting to really sweat here. So at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead, pull the bolts out of the bottom, leaving only these up top, holding the transmission on in place. Well, there's one in the back I need to get out too. It's not too bad though. I think it's like a 17. So yeah, I get all the ones in the bottom, they're all 14s. The one in the back. I'm just gonna get it from the bottom. I guess I'll take this with me since I'll be down there. This bolt. Let's see. Basically, what I want to do is I want to get everything done up under the car, everything apart, so that once I take this cradle out, I don't have to be up under here. Uh, it seems kind of dangerous to me, you know? the under car stuff done. Jesus Christ, how tight do I make these? Oh, fuck. Must have used an impact or something. are so tight. All right, so that's basically all bolts, but three that hold the transmission to the engine. So there's only only three more bolts that have to come out. But of course, I've got to get the engine support bar in, and then I have to remove the lower cradle. Get that support bar in there. So, obviously the point of this is to hold the engine while the transmission's out, because once you take the transmission out, three of the four engine mounts are gone, so... So that's um should be good where she is. Now I'm deciding whether or not I want to continue on with this right now. It's so basically I don't want to get to a point of no return, you know? 
like nine o'clock at night. <sighs> if I keep going, I'm gonna have to finish it tonight. I mean, at least finish getting it out. Basically like just having a little extra support on the front end of the car. I don't know. I just feel like it's necessary when you take that cross member out. Put the jack up under the engine. Take this engine mount off to 14. Get the engine mount out. It's a 14. out of the way. I can now get to this bolt and the two 13s that hold the clutch slave on. I don't want to be obnoxious but Make this easy on myself. It's kind of late, but it'll only be a second. Transmission. Go ahead and get this switch out of here. I don't want to break it. Or 
I'll just leave it in there for now. Yeah, I'll just leave it in there. <coughs> All right, so basically at this point, I gotta remove the bottom part, the sub, the cross member, remove the lateral transmission mount, and uh, three more bolts. I should be able to shimmy this guy out of here. But I don't know if I want to do it right now. I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Tomorrow sounds like a good idea. So I'm pretty tired. It's pretty late. God, I'm so close, though. Ah, fuck. Why, why do I do this to myself? That's out of the way. These guys. Couple of 14s. Nothing attached to the transmission. Don't appear to you. 17. holding it as two 17 millimeters. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spin this down. Because in order to get the trans out, engine has to be at an angle so you can get it past this sub member here. I'm just gonna angle that down a little bit. I'm gonna lower the whole engine. Right now the engine's on the jack along with the Right now, the full weight is on this bar here. It's gonna actually, yeah, I guess I gotta move and yeah, I gotta put the full weight on there. So I gotta move the jack. All right, so the engine's being held by engine support bar. I'm going to put the jack on the oil pan if I can. Just barely on there, but it makes me feel better. I'm going to go ahead and zip these last two 17s out. Or not. 
There's one. There's two. Now I'm gonna do this He-Man, this transmission to the ground. I'll put my gloves on. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm just going to shimmy the transmission off, and uh, lower it to the ground. Everything's disconnected, hopefully. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. That is still attached firmly. So, might need a little bit of a pry bar. I don't want to pry it too much because I don't want it to just come off on me. Coming a little bit by little. <sighs> little by little, she's coming. Easy peasy. I'm gonna go pass out somewhere now. <sighs> All right. Turn these out without incident. this stuff for the other trans just kind of like putting this on now because I don't want to forget I have done that get the transmission all the way back on I realize I forgot to put the damn fork on Put a little anti seize on that shaft. So, there. If I wasn't exhausted, I'd go ahead and just slap the other transmission on, but that ain't gonna happen tonight. Yeah. Get some parts off of here. Have some. So I got some mounts I gotta take off of here. All right, so. I think today, right now, is a good stopping point. <sighs> Shit. 
think that's rounded the shit out of that. Because it's a 14 on 15. So, <clears throat> so, yeah, I think I'm gonna. No, I'm not gonna pull this apart right now because it's a lot of work. But, like I said, it's a good stopping point. Get to it tomorrow. A few moments later. Alright, so. <clears throat> Went ahead, pulled the tranny apart anyways. I said I wasn't going to, but figured why not. So, <coughs> so here we go, here's third gear. And obviously, got uh, three teeth missing there. It's no good. So, yippers. But, no big deal. We'll put the new trans in and see what happens. I'm pretty sure this one has a mesh problem. Last time it knock three teeth off of this shaft this time with the new shaft knock three teeth off of this shaft I was kind of worried about that but oh well you know it lasted <coughs> alright I'm gonna go <coughs> go in before I die <coughs> 